Who's there? Joe. Joe who? Joe mama. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? And today I am back with another episode of Mondays with Morgan. Now you may have noticed that this is the second episode of Mondays with Morgan that I uploaded on today. And that might be a little bit weird, and I'm sorry about that, but, uh, you know, basically, uh, the three minute fights video, it took a little bit longer to film than I was kind of expecting. So I had to push that back a week, so some stuff got switched around, but hopefully twice as much entertainment for today, so hopefully you guys do enjoy that. Now, uh, this is kind of random, but I actually have like a matching jacket and shorts on. Uh, you guys might see that later in the video. Now, I do have a few different cool things to talk about as well as show you guys today. So this should be a pretty cool episode, you know? I got a lot of nice stuff planned for this one. Now, remember guys, I'm trying to get to 100 subs by 2022, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the video. So as you can see, the first thing that I did want to talk about today is PewDiePie. Now, uh, more specifically, um, I have been a big fan of PewDiePie for a while. And for me specifically, I feel like PewDiePie was at his best back in like 2016 and 2017, around that time. <laughs> Like, I really enjoyed him there. I thought he had some really funny, and honestly, he didn't give a shit, you know? He, like, he did what he thought was funny, and a lot of it was really funny. Now, YouTube demonetized him a lot, but, uh, yeah, he was pretty cool back then. And, you know, uh, 2020, I didn't think he was that great, but, you know, he was fine. But, like, especially the first half or so of 2021, in the middle of 2021, he really was not doing that good. And, like, one, the quality of his videos was going way down. Like, you could tell that he really didn't care that much about YouTube anymore. And, you know, everything was just not as good at that point. It was pretty stale, if I'm being honest. Uh, but he's kind of made a comeback recently, and I just wanted that to address that today. And just kind of say good job Felix because you've definitely kind of saved your channel from a little bit of a, a lower spot where it was at but um you know you made it uh, really cool now and yeah for like you can even look at just the quality like I mean like the pixels and stuff of his videos because he had like a lot of videos they're like really low quality and it was like a funny meme but at the same time there was that and then also the lighting for a while in his videos was really kind of trash like really kind of shit it was not that good quality as far as the lighting goes uh, but as soon as about the time they started like you know trying actually trying in his videos and having like good lighting and good quality and all that stuff like he's had some good stuff recently and you know now he's got like you know his little Funko Pops and all that stuff and he's got like the LED lights and some some nice swag you know some nice hoodies and stuff and all in all he has like kind of a style now um, as well as just good videos like he did one on I think wish where he just bought a bunch of random crap You know and that was a pretty entertaining video He's also bringing back meme review, which is obviously like probably one of his most famous You know series or whatever. So that's definitely very cool And I did definitely just want to address that. I feel like Felix, you know PewDiePie he for a while really wasn't doing that good and I still liked him a lot, but and now it is definitely starting to pick up and you can tell he is really trying to start again and even besides that like he had 110 million subscribers for a really long time and now i'm hoping he's gonna start growing again because his content is definitely picking up and he's definitely trying a lot more he's a tryhard just like me for the next week or so So honestly, I think he could do really good in the future. And I definitely want to say that it is cool that he is back and making more great videos. Stop! If you're watching this video, make sure to comment down below because the person with the best comment from this video will get a shout out in the next video. Here's the person with the best comment from the last video. 
Hmm, very nice. And let's continue. So, the next thing is probably pretty exciting for some of my longtime fans out there. Because obviously, you guys have pretty much always just seen this little window of my room. Uh, this is obviously my setup and everything for YouTube. Uh, but today, I'm actually going to be turning around the camera. Yay! That's what I've been waiting for. Perhaps the archives. I know, such a big moment, but I'm gonna actually show you guys like my room and stuff, and uh, I'm probably gonna like unplug the mic so the quality might be a little bit shit. Okay, and now I will do the most crazy thing ever. Yo, I'm an average fucking vlogger, man, and there's nothing special about me. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Okay, so I'm probably gonna turn the main light on so you can guys can see everything a little bit better um but you know i got my youtube set up pretty pretty standard stuff you know i got my mic and my freaking hourglass which is on a box by the way that's how i keep that thing up and going you know i got some papers and a freaking lamp and stuff so yeah um you know i got some decent lighting going on um uh, it's pretty nice. Now, uh, my mom actually got me like a new bed or whatever. I don't really know why because my old bed was perfectly fine, you know? And that was just kind of like, okay, uh, we don't need this at all and it's a huge waste of money, but she did get that. So, wow, new bed. I, I mean, it is pretty nice, I'm gonna be honest. And then moving over, you have my actual like bookcase. Now, a lot of people have actually been suggesting that I show my, you know, bookcase and whatever. And, you know, the rest of my room and all that special. My eyes! But if you guys do want to see my actual bookshelf and my collection of uh, books and everything, up here I have a bunch of Harry Potter books. Now, obviously Deathly Hallows is kind of down right now. Uh, that one used to be up, but it keeps falling down. So I was like, you know, I'm too lazy to do something about that. So I just kept it there like that. Um, but if we move over, you know, I got... Look at all those Warriors books. I mean, that is hell of a lot of Warriors books, if I'm being fucking honest with you guys. Like, wow, that is a lot of books. Yeah, I got like basically every Warriors book that I've read, I have. So, yeah, I, and before you say I'm like really rich and I just bought all this stuff right now, I've literally been reading these books for like six or seven years. So, you know, it's been a long time and I've just collected a bunch of stuff um, like that. So, that's really nice. I got a lot of books up in here, you know? Um, and then I also have a bunch of other books, you know, like that, and Alex Ryder. That's a pretty good series. You guys should read that if you haven't. Um, I may do a video on that someday. I don't know. But, you know, I got some, you know, Percy Jackson, a bunch of other books and stuff. And then I also have a bunch of useless junk in my room that you'll be seeing everywhere. So that's a little bit stupid. But I do have some nice uh, books up in here, so... Yeah, that's pretty nice. You guys, so someone suggested that I showed off my bookshelf because you guys obviously just see it like in the corner of my screen and it's probably like really annoying because you're like, oh, I want to see what's going on over there. Well, too bad. I fucking hate you. You guys suck. You suck. No, um, but yeah, I finally got to show you my bookshelf. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so our next section that I'm actually pretty excited about because I did, you know, I recently I bought a lot of stuff off of Amazon and this was one of them. So I am pretty excited to show you guys this and it should be a pretty, a pretty funny thing to do. Um, but I got this freaking grass soda. Yeah, I'm, I'm not okay. My fellow Americans, I think we all know where this is going. So let's just skip to the end. No, it is not weed. It's not freaking, um, it's not a drug. Don't kill me, police and YouTube. It's just grass in a bottle. What is that? What the fuck is that? I don't know, man. I didn't get any inspiration from anyone. I just saw this on Amazon one day and I was like, you know what? I'm going to drink this. So I hope I don't need a can opener for this because I don't freaking feel like doing that. But ah. 
Okay, so I finally got this fucker opened. Um, now we're gonna drink this thing. So I'm a little bit scared. I've been having this thing in the refrigerator for a week, so it is obviously either radioactive or poisonous. But I guess we'll find out together. If I die, I'll put Alex in charge. You're in charge, Shadow Fang. Pretty loyal subscriber. Uh, so, yep. And bottoms up. Whew. I didn't even think about this, but okay. That's actually good. What the hell? Okay, whoa, bro, bro. I was like so scared because at first it was just like carbonated stuff, you know, it was just like freaking carbonated, but that's actually like really good. That's like refreshing and stuff. What the hell, bro? Let me try that again. Yeah, that's beautiful. I don't even. <laughs> Man, I'm not even gonna lie, that is, that's really good. That's some good stuff right there. Who would have thought that grass soda tastes good? Not me. The most exaggerated faces ever. I'm freaking Ron Weasley over here. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain um, how it tastes like. It really doesn't taste like grass. Like I kind of, I see something in there, but it, it, it just tastes good, honestly. I'm gonna be honest with you. A grass soda. <laughs> Who thought of this? Whoever you were, whoever you are, what the hell, whoever you are, I don't know. They were probably a drug dealer at first because it's grass. <laughs> but yeah, you are awesome. And this soda is, man. Many months later. Yeah. Um. I should probably go ahead and chug it now. That'd be a nice way to end off this section. So, I'll see you guys on the next little section. And bottoms up. The government is a lie. The earth is flat. Your mom enjoyed that heart attack. <laughs> yes, guys, I, I hate to admit it, but I have joined the Illuminati, I know. A very shocking moment on my part, but honestly, one day I was just in science class. I mean, this is how it all starts, man, for all of us, but I was just in science class, and then my friend Isaac starts pulling out the, the freaking pin, bro. It, it all starts with a pin. It's always with that pin, man. That's how it all starts. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. <laughs> and then he pulled out that pin, and he started drawing them tattoos all over him, and I was like, bro. Bro, I'm into that, so so then I just started joining the Illuminati, man, and I've been going to the meetings, you know, I got the I got the hood symbols all up in here, bro, you know, I got the tattoos, oh, I just destroyed my mic. Yeah, look at all this stuff, bro, I mean, come on, bro, the government, government's a lie, let's be honest here, let's be honest up in here, my guy. That is a lot of stuff going on, but you know, I mean, I'm part of the Illuminati now, so if you guys don't like it, if anyone in the chat, if anyone in the comments, if anyone watching this video is not part of the Illuminati, honestly, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, you, you, you just, just, just stop, okay? You're living a lie, man. The earth is not real, okay? It's all a simulation. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought that was something that I definitely needed to announce. But anyway, guys, that does conclude this episode of Mondays with Morgan. You know, I drank some amazing soda that I thought might be bad, but it was instead amazing, bro. That stuff, that stuff hit damn hard, if I'm being honest. And at the end of it, I got abducted into Illuminati. I should have some more bangers coming out this week, if I'm being honest. And as always, make sure to get lost, hit the road, take a hike, and I will see you on the next video.